Hello, this is another tutorial. This one is on using the app iMovie. This is the second tutorial on iMovie. The first one was about using iMovie Trailer, which is a good starting point. You should actually experiment with iMovie Trailer before you get into doing a full-blown movie, which is what we're going to show today. So this, uh, this tool works real well for project-based learning. If you need to do any uh, compare and contrast assignments, if there are anything related to um, uh, case studies and revealing some findings. And the perspective here is that you're using visuals. So you're creating or constructing content. Digital storytelling is essentially what you're doing here. So you can take a summary of your findings and anything that you can grab in photos um, or um, take photos of images and videos that, uh, that you can create of your content. So if you can make visual, uh, visual representations of data for, for some uh, report out that you need to do, that would work. Uh, very creative uh, because you have, to, you have to plan. You have to plan your layout. It's not text-based. There's critical thinking that comes into play. And it's a good idea before you actually lay down a project and uh, start, start working on it, is to kind of storyboard it out. Just take a piece of paper and kind of plan what it is that you're going to do. It's also very good for learner-centered instruction, an instructor who wants to maybe create something like this that the students then do as pre-work. They observe the, the finished product here before they come into the classroom situation. And students can also do it as well if they have access to an iOS device like an iPad, an iPad mini, or an iPhone. Uh, this, uh, this software will work on that. Also, if you have a, an Apple computer, a MacBook, a MacBook Pro, an iMac, you'll be able to use that as well. I do want to stress that this is different from uh, iMovie Trailer. That is another video recording that we have. Uh, Bloom's taxonomy level at least three, three and above. So activity um, that you would do with this would be at the application level, the analysis level, the evaluation level, or primarily the creating level. So uh, Bloom's level three or above, so, so that works real well. So first of all, um, before we get into actually uh, recording, uh, capturing the images and the video that we're going to do in iMovie. I do want to talk about that I think it's a lot easier to actually grab all your images and grab all of your videos before you start construction. So in order to do that, on your device you're going to have a camera icon. So that's this one right here. And you tap on the camera icon and you're going to have the ability to pull up uh, you know, videos and photos and all kinds of different things. And so go ahead and take those images and take those videos uh, as, as you need to. It's just a lot easier to build. You can actually build right in the software. Uh, it's a little messier on the editing. I actually think it's easier to actually have your construction um, being built from items that you've already captured. So I'm just going to tap on the iMovie icon here in this purple star. And so when you open yours, you're probably not going to have anything in here unless this is your own personal device and you have a number of things already captured. They'll actually be listed right in this particular uh, area here. And if you needed to open any of them up to edit them, you just touch on it and it would open up. At this particular point, uh, we're going to be doing a project. The theater was what you did before. So we're just going to go over here and tap on this X, that's, or I'm sorry, this plus sign that's in the top right corner. And you have a choice to create a new project. It's either going to be a movie or a trailer. Again, we're going to do a movie. So I touch on the movie. When I touch the movie, I have some examples here of all kinds of different backgrounds. So you can just scroll from side to side, determine which one you want. Once you decide, you can actually, 
if you want to see what it'll look like, you can get about a 10 second view just by touching on this triangle here. But when you're ready, you go up to the top right corner once you've selected the, the one that you need, and you hit Create Movie. So at this particular point, I want to point out this area up top, Video, and notice that that's what's highlighted here. That's what's actually kind of lit up. There's also Photos and there's Audio. You have the ability, one of the big differences between iMovie and, uh, for the movie, and iMovie Trailer is that iMovie Trailer uh, does not allow a lot of editing. Once you insert an image or you insert a photo, that's the length. You can't really do much to, to make something stay on the screen longer. So if it's something where you need to show two minutes or three minutes worth of, let's say, video clip, that's something that you're going to want to do in iMovie Movie versus iMovie Trailer. You also have the ability here to uh, add audio. You can actually record your own voice down here by clicking this microphone and put that in there. Or you can grab tracks. You can grab audio tracks, whether it's from your iTunes uh, library um, or audio tracks that you can go get and download and then you can add them to your particular project. So all you have to do if you wanted to include a photo, you're just going to touch the photo area and you're going to pull up your camera roll and anything that that's in that particular camera roll. So let's show you how easy it is to add something to this spot. So I'm just going to actually pull up my camera roll and I'm going to go down here and just touch a picture. So once I touch it, I now put it in my timeline here. And I'm just going to touch another one say okay I got enough photos in here I'm gonna go back up to video I'm gonna pop some videos in here okay so what I've done is I've just touched on that particular stream of videos advanced features are in these three dots not something to worry about until you get a little bit more experience with this if I don't remember exactly what's in this particular video clip I can hit the play icon right here. If this is the one that I want and I'm good to go, all I have to do is press this down arrow and you will see that it's now inserted that particular clip. Now if I go down to the bottom, down here in my timeline, I can actually just take my finger, all I'm doing is sliding with my finger and moving this back and forth. The playhead is that vertical white line. So if I move this all the way to the front, and if I go ahead and press the play button, you'll see we're working through this particular image at the speed it's going to be. So if I decide that any of these images are either on the screen too long or not on the screen long enough, I do have the ability to adjust the timing. So I'm going to pause this and stop this just by going back there. So let's say I decide that... Uh, this entire clip so far we can see is 21.3 seconds. So that's everything from this Baker College photo through Yoda all the way over to here. So maybe I decide that I don't need all that, all that particular link. I'm just touching on this particular image with my finger. And then I'm going to go up here and grab the corner. And I'm going to pull that in. So now I've shortened a little bit. That's down to 17.3 seconds. And that, again, that's for this entire set of what I have in here so far. Okay. Now let's show you some of the other things you can do. Oh, first of all, this is the undo button in case you did something. And, oh, my God, that's not what I wanted. You can just go ahead and hit here, and that's your undo button. So let's talk about some of the other things I can do. I'm going to tap on this Baker College image. And notice down here in the bottom, I have some choices. I can actually duplicate this image. I can get rid of this particular piece completely by hitting the trash can. Or I can touch title. This allows me to add some text. So I'm going to touch on the title. That gives me some choices of some things that I can do here. Now opening, middle, and closing is not what you would think it is. This does not mean that this, uh, the opening is something you're only going to use at the beginning. 
the middle is only something you're going to use in the middle and the closing is something at the end of your presentation. It has to do with size. So opening is a larger one, kind of like a title slide, if you will. And then middle is a little smaller and closing is a little smaller from a text point of view. I'm going to touch on opening here. And then all I'm going to do is I'm going to touch where it says title text here. And notice I have the cursor back here so I can just backspace and I can enter my title. And so I'm just typing. Now if I decide that this isn't what I want, I can blow this up by hitting the X or I can just hit tap done or anywhere else on the screen and that will get rid of. So what's going to happen now is if I go back to the beginning, Notice that Baker College pops up, and that's going to stay up for the length of that particular. Once that image disappears and the next image comes in, those words are no longer there. So I'm going to stop that, and let's go back to Yoda. Again, I'm going to tap Yoda. I'm going to get my title option again down here. And so this time I'm going to do a middle, just so you can see what it looks like. Today. Whoops. I think spell check. <laughs> Yoda. Not Yoda. Yoda. There you go. Yoda. Wanted to spell yoga on me. Okay, so then I go into the last one here, and if I wanted to add something there, I'll do a closing one just so we can see, again, small space. And we'll just call it building. So those are the options. Again, I'm going to put something else in here. I'm going to go up and touch this image, and I'm going to put this in here. All right, so let's say there's a situation where I've put things in, and then based on my storyboard, and as I think about this and analyze it a little bit, I would like to have some, move some things around and put them in a different order. Let's say I'm going to take this image, and I don't want it where it is. I'm going to tap on it and hold my finger on it until it gets small. See how it gets small, and then I'm just going to take and move it, and I'm going to release it in the spot that I want it in. So I've now changed that particular uh, location. So again as we play this through, we move over to the new character, the new image, it has its language. Now remember there's nothing on this particular image in this video sequence and then we have building and now we're at 22.2 seconds and we get to the end we're gonna drop off um, I'm going to pick uh, one more image and drop that in right now I'm actually gonna go and click on this one here and I'm gonna drop that in now I want to show you one other thing sometimes for whatever reason maybe one of these images um, I, I want I don't want the whole thing and I've already showed you how you can pinch and bring together. You can also pinch and pull apart to make something stay on the screen a little bit longer. But sometimes what you're going to want to do is maybe have two different titles on a particular video. So what you can do is, let's say in this particular case, this last image is something that I want to do that with. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tap on it, and then I'm going to get that... There we go. I'm going to get that uh, the little white bar here, which is the playhead. I'm going to get that in the spot that I want to actually split this image and turn it into multiple images. So once I have it tapped, so notice how it's highlighted there and surrounded in yellow, I'm just going to take my finger and go to the top of that white line up here, and I'm going to pull down. All I'm doing is taking my finger and vertically going from the top of that white line to the bottom of that white line and notice how it has split this into two images. So these are two separate images so I can do anything I want. I can shrink and expand this one. I can shrink and expand this one. Or I could actually delete either one of these. 
I can add some some music to them. I can add the the words to them like I wanted to, and anything that I want to do there. Okay, so uh, let's actually now show you another. Um, thing that we can put in. We've looked at video, we've looked at photo, and again I can go back to photo just by touching the photos icons here. I could go back to this video icon here if I need to get more video, but I want to show you briefly audio. Whoops, there we go. So there's some built-in theme music based on what theme or background you chose early on. There's also some sound effects, uh, playlist and albums, artists and songs, those are actually off of your own device. So if you actually have some audio pieces that are saved in your device, you actually can bring those in. I'm just going to tap on theme music here. And so you've got a whole bunch of different choices. And these are based on bright, eye report, modern, neon, news, whatever. These are actually those themes or backgrounds. And there's a selected movie, or I'm sorry, music clip that goes with which each one of those movie backgrounds. And those are the length of times you can actually loop them, you know, so forth. You also have the ability to make some adjustments down with this uh, settings area, which is this little wheel down here. So I, can, I can go back in case I don't want to do anything or I want to switch a setting right here. And I don't want to do anything on the front end. Maybe I, wanna, maybe I picked a setting, a theme, and I, it's not really one that I like. So as I go forward, I, I might want to change that. I can do that here. I also have the theme music that, that I can add on. Notice that down here I have my audio track right here. All I'm doing is just moving the little white button. I can actually have the individual pictures fade in from black and fade out to black if I want. Speed changes pitch on the audio, so forth. Finally, uh, I had talked about this earlier, but if I wanted to, let's say I had captured all my images and now I'm actually building the movie like we're building right now. And I said, you know what, I need another picture. I can actually touch on this camera icon down here and I can decide to get either a, another picture or a video. So in this particular case, it's in video mode. I can tell that because that's what's highlighted in yellow. I can actually move it to photo mode if that's what I want, or I can get out of here completely, oops, and I'll go back to, to my particular movie. Okay, the last thing I want to show you is down here is the microphone. I have the ability to touch the microphone, and I can actually record a piece to add to this. And again, I set it up uh, wherever I want to. So if I go ahead and touch record, three, two, one. Hello, and welcome to the Baker College tutorial on using iMovie. And then I'm just going to touch stop. So I can either retake it, I can review it, or I can accept it. So let's say I accept it. So now you can see down here that we have that little recording piece. It's going to start a little bit into this first image, and it's going to kind of finish off once we get to, to Yoda. So those are some of the things that you can do. Now when you're all done, I'm going to go over here and touch this little arrow to put myself back out to the beginning. So this is the movie that I just created. I also have the ability to, to give this a name. So what I have is the duration. This is 29 seconds. Here's the date. Trash can. You guys can figure that out. This would allow me to play it right from the beginning right here. This particular um, icon right here allows me to get into editing mode so that I can go back in in case I want to do something with it. I'm going to go ahead and touch back on the little arrow to get out to this main page. This is the area that I want to show you here. So once you have it on the device, you have to move it. You click on that item, and you have a number of choices here. If it's your own device, it doesn't matter. But if it's a device that belongs to the school, you got to get it out of here. Now, you could save it to your YouTube account. However, there are a lot, of, uh, a lot of things that might play against you doing that. It depends on how long your video is. It will probably take about 10-15 minutes to load a 30 to a 60 second video up to your YouTube account from the building, from the classroom. However, I think the easiest way to do it is actually go over here and to send it out in an email. 
And so then that way, once you have it there, you can do anything you want. So there you go. This is iMovie using the movie feature rather than the trailer feature in iMovie for iOS devices.